Hi, welcome to this week's devotion. My name is Abimbola and I, along with my husband, Toba, are the African Connect Pastors. We are continuing with our series thought of Therefore Go. In Matthew 28, we read about the Great Commission where Jesus tells us, his followers, to go into the world and make disciples. This week in our devotions, we will go on a journey through 2 Corinthians 5.17 that says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation and all things is gone. The new is here. Each day we'll look at what we need to do in order to embrace what it truly means to be a new creation in Christ. Have you ever felt lost like no one could understand the weight you're carrying? Jesus meets us in these places of despair and isolation. The promise of 2 Corinthians 5.17 speaks directly to anyone who feels broken or burdened by the past. It reminds us that in Jesus our lives are renewed. It does not merely patch up our old lives. It transforms us, giving us a fresh beginning, a fresh start. When Jesus finds us, when he finds you, it does so with deep compassion and understanding. Seeing not seeing you or me, not as we were, but as we can be in him. Becoming a new creation doesn't mean we forget the past. But it does mean that the past no longer defines us. When we accept Christ, it renews our mind and heart, helping us release old fears, failures, and regrets. This restoration is ongoing. Jesus continually works in us, reminding us of our worth and his purpose for our lives. Today, reflect on the areas of your life where you feel stuck or lost. Invite Jesus into those places. Remember, he's already found you. He's already found me and is ready to renew and restore every part of you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for finding me in my brokenness and loving me completely. Help me, God, to live in the truth that I am a new creation in you, unburdened by the past. Remind me daily of your restoring grace. Amen.